What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel and we are going to be talking about kind of a part two of a video that I did a few weeks ago about some upgrades I made to the Bun Benz, which is my 2016 Mercedes Metris. And so we'll put a link down to that video below so that you can go back and check that out as well after you watch this one. So we're going to talk about part two of that. So we kind of touched on trying to improve my load in and load out times in that video. And that was why I got that ramp. And that was why I got that charging port on the side. And today I want to kind of show you the whole thing all pulled together one big video. So let's do that right now. All right guys, so I'm super excited about this. Again, just wanna show you some of the stuff that I'm gonna to use to improve my load in and load out times and just being organized in general. Let's start with this new box I got. Now I know I showed you the other stackable boxes. Those are still good, but I wanted to kind of try and consolidate that. So I took a lot of the cables that was in that really big bin that I showed you in a previous video and I put them in a, almost like a under the bed storage bin and there was a little cubby uh, we'll show you in the back of the van and I slid those under there. And those are like if I have to run a hundred feet of cable somewhere. So I don't use those often. Then I was in the container store, which if you've got like minor OCD like myself, the container store is like heaven. It's the pinnacle. So I found this new box. Check this out. Oh, drawers right sliding open. So top, my main cables got uh, power cord, which is actually back there. And then the dual combo cables from, of course, NLFX. And then I also keep 225 XLR, 225 foot XLRs up there as well. All right, close that. Check this out. These have these little locks on them. Uh, lock, unlock. So this one, I've got all kinds of stuff. Got my antennas for my microphone and my in-ear monitors. Got a whole bunch of batteries. Got some other miscellaneous parts right here. My gaff tape, my microphone, my wired mic. I got my in-ear monitors in this little pouch and I've got my Astera box for running my X1s in there. So all that stuff goes in the middle drawer and then I lock it down and then the bottom drawer is where I've got all of my adapters, tools, extra cables, Velcro. I mean, tons upon tons, gravity clips for when I use my speaker poles, when I use my bigger subs. Um, I mean, it's all right here. So in an emergency, if I need to kind of rig up something or, or swap out a cable real quick, this is the drawer that I come to for that. So that is kind of my new all-in-one box that I take with me to every single event. Okay, friends, so we talked a little bit about the carts in the last video about when I was talking about the van and some of the upgrades. I showed you these rock and roller carts. I actually replaced the R18 with another one of these R12. This is the stealth model. That's why it looks all black and not black and yellow from the company called Rock and Roller. And what I've got loaded on this cart, okay, are my two Evolve 50s, EV Evolve 50s in white. And then I've got an Evolve 30 right there and then the little bag that holds the top parts of that goes right in this little cubby here and then you got your boy that i just showed you kind of goes here on the end and that is one fully loaded car now a couple things i want to mention number one the thing you'll notice when jeb gets a little bit closer is on both of these R12s, and I'll show you the other one in a minute, I put boards on them. I took a board, I cut it a little bit wider than the width of the platform of the rock and roller, and then I put some little bitty blocks on the bottom, kind of between the rails on the rock and roller, so that that board can't shift left or right. It's basically stuck there. Now I could take it off and still take the cart and break it down like they break down, but Right now it's fully extended with a board on it. So that makes the entire thing much more stable. You'll also notice that in the past, you've probably seen me load in with bungee cords. I'm not doing that for this rig. I'm actually using ratchet straps and they get much tighter. Obviously you wanna be careful. You don't wanna to put too much pressure on these towers here for the Evolve 50s. 
And technically, I probably will put one more just so that this doesn't shift around and fall off inside the back of the bun bins, which we're gonna roll them up there in a minute. Okay guys, and this is the second rock and roller, R12 Stealth again. You can see the board a little bit better on this one because we haven't loaded it up yet. Uh, for this one, uh, I just marked this one as lighting just to kind of keep them separately. I bought some cheap stencils and did a really poor job, but we're the only one that really sees it. But I, again, I had the, had the board cut for the bottom. See, this one's a little too tight, but had these blocks, glued them on, put a screw through the top, uh, wood glued them on and then again that allows it so that it goes kind of in between these rails and then it can't shift on you left or right so this one's a little like i said a little too tight but that's pretty good and you can see how it looks and now this will be kind of the lighting only cart quite frankly so you've almost got your pa on that cart you've got your lighting on this cart so over here in this skb case is going to be, of course, my stands for my Astera AX1s. These are actually made by Lightsmiths. We've done a video on these before. Uh, these are the base plates. And the sticks with a little threaded end for the Astera AX1 pixel tubes. So you got six of those in here. This is a heavy case, but all you have to do is pick it up really one time, put it over here, your board, make sure that it's not all over the place, kind of center it up a little bit. And then I'm gonna show you the other things that go on here. So in another week or two on this channel, you'll see what's in these saucy little cases right here. These are my new both lighting up lights. We're not gonna reveal those right now, but I'm gonna basically just show you where I'm gonna load these. I'm gonna go boom, and boom. So I got two of these briefcases which hold eight each, so 16 as opposed to having four of these with four in each that are very, very unstable when you load them on a cart, whether you've got a board or not. So I'm gonna, gonna get rid of the old school white ones going to try these new ones, which you'll see in an upcoming video. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel, like I said. So the last piece, of course, across the top is what? My favorite thing, the Astera AX1 pixel tubes. Going to lay those right across the top. Let's get them. Again, we're going to ratchet strap the whole thing. Snap, snap, snap. We're going to put that on right now. And then we're going to roll these two into the band. We're gonna strap them to the wall, the cargo wall. And then the last piece, of course, is gonna be the Bun Gear Command Center. We've got it on this new little cart. Here's some footage right here. And we're gonna roll that in last, turn it long ways. Again, strap that to the cargo wall as well. And that's it. We roll in with three carts. Lighting, sound, Bun Gear Command Center. That is all the show that I really ever wanna take. The only other peripherals would be if I had the ceremony rig, which you've seen, the LSP 500 from Sennheiser with all the mics built into it. That's an SKB case. That would just kind of roll into the side door and we would put it right there. The only other thing might be the CO2 cannon. We take the tank, we put it in that corner with the bottle holder and that would sit there. Uh, the, the gun itself goes right there above the wheel well because nothing else can really go in that wasted space. And that's all that I would ever really take. We don't really carry the movers out anymore. Um, we don't do TVs, we stopped doing the sparks. I mean, you're looking at the rig, three carts, one trip. Well, make it two trips if you got two people <laughs> and maybe three if you're by yourself. But I don't think it could be any easier, especially for the fact that at the end of the night, you can pack up, put the stuff on the carts and just roll them right into the van. Whereas we used to pack the cart, roll it out of the van, unpack the cart, break the cart down, strap it to the sidewall, whatever. Like. This is going to be a game changer for getting in and out quickly, which to me is makes all the difference between getting burnt out or not. All right, let's get into the van. Just while we're doing this, quick tip on these ratchet straps, usually always way, 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 way too long. So you're gonna wanna cut, I mean, look, this thing even got more, 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 more. You're gonna wanna cut it off a little bit. So I've got it hooked on the other side about where I want it. And then factor in this hook and that you want some to go obviously around the spindle there 
So let's call it around here. Just go ahead and cut it. Toss that and then get a lighter and just kind of sear the end of this. You don't need to really catch it on fire like I did, but, and then never touch that with your hands. That, that chemical or that polypropylene or whatever that stuff is will burn the hell out of you. So I always just kind of tap it down with that and now you're good to go. Got that nice and tight. I think we're ready to roll in the van. Let's go. All right, so now we're ready to roll into the van, which is over there. Had this little ramp built right here off the curb. Prop the door. Got a little bit of a slant here on this driveway. So you gotta watch that stuff. We're gonna deploy the ramp. Ramp is deployed. Now we're gonna roll this beautiful girl up in here. So you saw we got one card in, not too bad. And then we've got our straps kind of tucked over here on the side. Then I'm gonna get the next cart, then the DJ booth, strap it all down and we'll be ready to go. Let myself out the side door here. Last piece, obviously Bun Gear Command Center. Let's get that. And of course, my baby girl, Bun Gear Command Center, last one in. Last but not least. Now, before we do put this in, here's what I would do. So, the straps I had over on the left, I'm gonna swing them around those carts so that they stay flat against that cargo wall. I'm gonna bring them over here and put them right here on these O-rings. And these again, I've shown you all before, but you can move them up and down the track. If I wanna move them out a little bit further so I can get my hand back there, they're ready to go. Strap those in first close the door, and then I'm going up with the command center. Like a glove. Last trap is gonna come around that. Same thing, go all the way to the cargo wall. So now this is pushed up against the carts. The carts are strapped to the wall. So even if I slam on brakes or go forward at a rapid speed, Nothing is shifting, nothing is falling off the carts. And then when I get to my journey, all I'm gonna do is open that side door, release those three ratchet straps, toss them over here on the side, and roll out in the exact opposite order of what we just rolled in. Man, y'all got me out here sweating for this video. Good Lord, summertime in North Carolina is no joke, but that's how I think I'm going to go through the fall season, load in, load out style. Hope it helps you get some tips for your vehicle or just for loading in or loading out in general, even if you got a Honda Pilot SUV. Thanks as always for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment, give me a like, and I will see you back here next week with another brand new video. Thank y'all.